you know, in a recent interview they did with Kyrie, just asking him a few questions, they were talking about Thanksgiving and him celebrating. And he let them know, I don't celebrate Thanksgiving. You know, if you're a Hebrew, you should not be celebrating the massacre of Native American people that were on this soil when these folks arrived. That is no cause for celebration, but you know, many of their holidays are about death. You know, these folks celebrate death. They cheer death. And we've seen this all throughout history. So to be honest with you, I have not done a Thanksgiving. I think this is like my 13th year of no Thanksgiving, no Christmas, no New Year's. And to be honest with you, once you get through the first year, you really, you don't miss it. You really, truly do not miss it. And to be honest with you, I stopped doing Christmas long before I even knew who I was as a Hebrew. So it's been even longer Christmas time, uh, Christmas time. Wow. I can't even, it's been so long. I can hardly remember, but it was just something in my spirit that just wasn't feeling it anymore. And I just stopped doing it. So when I finally found out that I was Hebrew, it was not hard for me to get rid of all of these holidays and stop acknowledging them because for the most part, I was doing some of them already prior to. So Kyrie Irving won't be among the NBA players celebrating Thanksgiving. Well, good for him. Brooklyn Nets guard Kyrie Irving has been among the most controversial players in the NBA this past two seasons. Last year, it was his stance against the Jap scene. Earlier this season, it was his tweet promoting Hebrews to Negroes, wake up black America. And now he will likely be in the news for his thoughts on the holidays, particularly. Thanksgiving, Irving, who was a Miami Heat target during an offseason, he was um, doing a post-game interview Wednesday on how he planned to celebrate the holidays. And here is his response. I don't particularly celebrate Thanksgiving, but everybody getting together with their families, blessings, To all of you guys, Irvin said, enjoy the holiday. Not a holiday for me, but please enjoy the food for me. This is nothing new. Irving has always made it clear his stance on the subject. In 2018, he told reporters uh, pretty much like F Thanksgiving after a game. Irving, who has Native American roots and has a grandmother part Standing Rock Sioux tribe, that's what she's part of. Irving, a late mother, was adopted out, uh, out of the tribe. So, you know, that is not unusual to hear that. Back in those times, it was common for a lot of Native children to be adopted out. You know, and many of them ended up in white families, you know, and not really having the full exposure around their own people. They know Kyrie Irving doesn't celebrate Thanksgiving and they know exactly why he is not celebrating in his connection with his Native American heritage and the celebrated slaughter of his people. The former NBA player, Ethan Thomas, 
wrote on Twitter, the media has been very intentional right now with Kyrie. Yeah, it's almost like, because I watched his post interview when he came back to play, and it's almost like they're trying to entrap him. And that's because they are. Some of them aren't happy that he returned. And you can clearly tell. And then they tried to make him responsible for the protest that was going on by Israel United in Christ. And he doesn't control that group. You know, we know they are a Hebrew Israelite group. They were there supporting Kyrie, but they were phrasing the questions almost like, almost trying to make him responsible for the protest. And instead of trying to entrap Kyrie, and you want to know why um, those men were there, and it looked like they came out by the thousands, it was so many of them out there on the street, you know, the uh, press in this country can go out and interview those men if they really want to, instead of sitting around trying to entrap. Kyrie Irving on questions in regards to these groups that are out there, you know, and it's, it's real funny because they keep saying anti-Semitic, but the bottom line is, you know, when I was going out looking at many of the articles, the ADL is not very favored. A lot of people, you know, when I went out to look at the articles and if you go in the comment section, there's a lot of people that had very unfavorable things to say about them. In fact, I've seen more bad things written about the ADL than good things, you know? And I think their constant attack is going to keep drawing people to trying to find out more about, you know, the Hebrew Israelites being the, um, you know, what they call the black community. They're actually drawing the people to it the more they come out in the press and they keep insulting us. It's now piquing the curiosity of people. It's not turning them off to the point where they're saying, okay, um, uh, anti-Semitic, okay, well, I'm not going to listen to them. That's not the reaction that is happening out here. It's actually the opposite is happening. A lot of people want to know what's going on. So when you see something like Hebrews to Negroes, now it's not just Hebrews, but a lot of Gentiles are now curious and they're watching it too. You know, usually that happens when a film is very controversial. That happens. I don't feel it's controversial. I think it's, it really gives a lot of insight on who's really on this planet. And it takes away some of the illusions that are going on out here and a lot of the falsehoods that are going on. And, and that stuff is going to be diminished anyway. It, it's prophesied you know, the rise of our Heavenly Father's children in these last days. And it's funny how some groups think they're going to stop prophecy from happening. It can't be stopped. It can't be stopped. So, you know, he answered in a way that you would expect a, a Hebrew to answer the questions about Thanksgiving. You know, it's, we just don't do the holidays. They're not our holidays. You know, it's not a holy holiday, not for us. So why should we acknowledge it or celebrate it? Plain and simple. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.